Hello, I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions. Thanks for coming along on another walkthrough with us. We've got a different build here, a little simpler build. I get a lot of requests for that. So it's a 148, it's also a little shorter, it's a medium roof. So why don't you come on in and have a look around. A lot of people are not looking for all the bells, the whistles, the toilets, the um, extravagant electricity, all the running water and all that. So we have a little bit simpler build here. I know a lot of people were looking for that. So here we go. You come in and you can see it's got a lot of universal space in here. Open underneath the bed so you could slide things in. Plenty of room for bikes or cargo or anything else you'd like to use in here. We've got one bunk window above the bed on the head side of the bed. And we've got some upper bins on the toe side of the bed. You can see we've got a little kitchen counter here with a manual hand pump. There are no batteries on board on this build. So the Ford Transit, some models have two batteries under the driver's seat and this is one of them. So we tapped into the existing batteries inside the Ford Transit and we put an electrical breaker here that can go on and off to disconnect you from the vehicle's battery and then goes through another fuse box. And then we have some basic things running off of the van battery. So we've got the lights this is our normal light switch that dims. We've got an air heater that runs off the fuel in the gas tank. We've got AC outlets here that are shore power only. Those only run if it's plugged into shore power. The electricity off the vehicle battery also runs the max air fan. Not a lot of power usage on this van, so we didn't think it was necessary to put in house batteries. Looking at the sink here, you can see we've got a manual pump. I'll put a link in the description below to this, to this water pump. Nice simple manual pump. Down below we've got a fresh water and a gray water tank. That works nice. You can see there's a door on the other side so they can access these water jugs from the outside so they don't have to come in with the water jugs to put them in here. Underneath the bed, you can see we utilized the areas above the wheel wells for some storage. We've got tongue and groove plywood on the inside. Down below the sink is the air heater is under there. There's the exhaust that exhausts the hot air. And there's um, some holes underneath that you can barely see there that allow for intake air. Well, thanks for coming along on another walkthrough with us. If you'd like to have a van built to your exact specifications, feel free to send me an email in the description and I'd be happy to get an estimate out to you. So for Eric, Narrow Road Van Conversions, happy travels. See you next time.